Welcome back everyone to CPPforbeginners.com's continuing tutorial series. This time we're going to be finally doing it. We're going to be covering string stream. This is an important lesson. It's extremely crucial that we all know this before we go on. And I hope that you guys really appreciate this because I appreciate you guys making it this far. I've put off this lesson for literally as long as possible. Um, I have had reasons. I didn't want to cover string stream until I'd covered string, and I didn't want to do that until I covered character arrays. I didn't want to do character arrays until I'd covered arrays, and didn't want to, you know, go straight from array without vector, and blah, 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 blah. I digress. String streams are actually easier to use than strings. So to show you that, I'm going to create a string and I'm going to create an int and call it i and set i equal to zero. We're going to see out and we're going to say enter a number, which up until now we've been reliant upon the goodwill of our user to actually enter a number. And if they don't enter a number, we're in trouble. So what we have here is we're having a string, which is where we're going to store a number. And we have an int, which is where we're going to spit out the number. So since we're going to be storing it in string, we're going to be using get line c in stir or string. And now string stream is actually an interesting thing. Um, it's used in a, a very kind of interesting way, and I want to show you guys what that is before we go and do anything. Um, to make sure that they enter in what we want, we're going to have to put them into a while loop. In this case, we can do while true. Um, a lot of people don't advocate for that, but I do. Um, we could do while i equals zero, or I'm sorry, while, Jesus, I am having some issues here i equals zero and that would just mean that they have to enter a non-zero number which is possible but i'll just show you with true and what while true means is you know this is going to keep executing forever so what we're going to do here is we're going to create our statement that allows us to see if they put in a number that is you know uh an integer in this case or well, something that can be immediately cast to an integer. So what we're going to do is create a string stream object, and we're going to name it ss, and we're going to make it sort of take on the attributes of the contents of string, or well, string str. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement, and we're just simply going to say if ss goes into i break. And what that means is if the contents of string stream are able to be changed from whatever uh, this string is into whatever type i is, then we're going to break. And then we're going to put in an else. And then we're going to say see out. Um, we need a backslash in there. Please enter a valid number. And then we're going to do get line cn string. So right here in these uh, 12 lines, that's it. That's really all I have to show you guys about string stream because now we're just going to do a C out outside of this loop. The only way out of this loop is this one break right here, and we're going to say um, backslash n, the value stored in string str was, and then we're going to simply output i. And so I'm going to show you guys just how versatile this is. No matter how you roll your face on the keyboard, we're going to even put in some ugly characters that we shouldn't, that would normally kind of break out of a string. 
and in this case it's going to take 123 which is the first numbers I entered which that's kind of an issue but honestly they entered in a number which is what we asked but aside from that if it doesn't at least start with a number it's no longer valid and it doesn't break our program anymore so now we enter in let's just say 99 and there you go that my dear friends is how we use string stream and how we start getting into real validation i'm glad that you guys have hung on for this long i'll find something else to keep away from you guys for at least another 35 to 40 episodes uh, to keep you coming back but for now i'm going to keep this one short i hope you guys have enjoyed and that is string stream <laughs>